Okay, so uh, next what I'm gonna do is, of course, uh, try to see how the login part works because registering and user works as we've seen. So um, we know like, uh, you know, if I send a request to this particular endpoint, uh, we're supposed to be able to log in by sending this kind of an object. Now, this is something that we've already made sure works, the registration part. Uh, okay, so uh, if I uh, like, run my server and try to do a login what i'm going to do is uh, create a post handler for login create a function inside the controller called verify user similar to the create user function now this checks if there is an email and a password available in the body or not and then what it does is that it tries to find a user with the provided email and if it does find a user with that email um, then so I first check that if it's able to find out new user or not. If uh, no user object is returned in that case, that means that the email address was wrong. Uh, then I try to match the password. And if the password is not matched, then that's an error as well. If all goes fine, then I return the user object and I send that in response. So uh, let's check that out. So uh, we're gonna make a request to this slash login. And we're gonna make it post. We're gonna take a body, you are encoded, and pass uh, this email. And um, password, I'm gonna pass uh, Jake123, which I created as the password. Right, um, let's start the server. Let's, uh, you know, make the request. And okay, so. Taking a bit of time, let's see what happened. Cannot read property email of undefined. Okay, so uh, the response I'm supposed to send. Okay, so the request body is supposed to be like this. Uh, okay, so I'll take this and send like raw JSON object like this. Okay, uh, email is gonna be uh, Jake at coding blocks dot com and password is going to be jake um one two three like we had seen yep so okay cancel the request um, send it again and there we go so we get like this object back uh to us the object that we get back should not contain the password field so we need to uh take care of that but otherwise uh you know this works uh let's try or like sign up another user uh let's say uh raw data let's like take this sign up object like this jacob guy so if i like pass this jacob stuff here uh, make it json and uh okay so send okay new user registered jake at jake dot jake and password jake jake so let's try that one out jake at um jake dot jake and jake jake so yep we're able to log in with this new guy as well so i think this endpoint works of course like if i send the wrong password what's gonna happen so what i'll have to do is ideally put this inside a try catch kind of behavior and uh Okay, and if uh, like there is some error, in that case I'm gonna do is res dot status. Uh, I'll make a four zero three and send the error. Okay, um, or I can do is send an object which contains uh, error is called er dot message. Okay, uh, well, the format of the error is then given here. Uh, like all the errors are supposed to be of uh, this particular type. I think where yeah. Error should be errors body like that. So I'll do that. I'll do it errors. Uh, errors should be like, uh, okay. So make this object called errors. Errors, I will like uh, make this uh, contain uh, an object which has body and array. So I'll make this an object which contains uh, body, which is basically an array. Inside that, I will uh, put error dot. Uh, message okay so yep um so i'll do it with a try catch so if like i pass wrong information i can get the error uh correctly sent back um let's start the server again 
So this is like trying to log in with the correct user and I'm able to log in like that. But if I change like the password, I change to something wrong and I send, then I get, uh, oh, it's not supposed to happen. Um, did I, I don't know what happened? Oh, I need to like make this not equal to user opt dot password. Let's start again. Uh, send. Okay, so got this error four zero three error uh, errors body password does not match. Uh, if like the email ID was wrong, then uh, I get something different. No user with given email address, right? So yep. Uh, like the errors are uh, working correctly. We got the user registration, the user login uh, working uh, perfectly right now uh, with the controller logic and everything in place. What I'll also do is I will create a collection on my postman. Uh, call this as Node.js real world app, something like that. And uh, create it. And I'll just add save these, uh, save as and put it inside the node.js real world app and I'll take this one and save it also into same thing node.js real world app okay so uh, that gives me all these like requests uh, saved up so if I like uh, close these tabs I can uh, open uh, these when I want to like you know I can open them again uh, when I want to so that's gonna be pretty useful uh, so you can save your uh, existing request into postman like this okay um, uh, next up uh, what I'm gonna do is build uh, the endpoints for uh, get uh, current user update user for that we need to be able to do the authentication and how is this authentication is supposed to be done so uh, authentication is done with authorization JWT token something like that here okay and uh, we would be uh, creating a token for the user uh, then and I think something bigger than that is uh, that we need to not send the password here like currently if I send like any request right now if I send it I am getting the password returned here. So I'm not supposed to get the password returned here. We're not supposed to save the password in the database here. So I'm gonna have to make uh, those changes as well. So I'm gonna do that. And uh, more importantly, I need to like start creating these uh, JWT tokens. Uh, uh, these JWT tokens are usually created using uh, this library called uh, JSON Web Token. Uh, and not this one npm uh, jwt i think it's called json web token yeah that's the library i got it so json web token this is the one that uh, we're going to use to create these um, jwts uh, for our user uh, i'm going to start building that as a separate middleware we're going to do that in the next video okay